All right, I got a question for you. Let's say you're on a tropical island and you're out doing some sightseeing. You're walking through, say, a residential area like where we're at now, and you fall and break your leg. Big drop off, right? Or you have any other type of medical emergency, or you witness a crime. Who do you call? Do you call 911 just like we do in the States? <clears throat> or does each country have their own emergency code? Let's find out together. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. Wait, you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. And we're down here in the beautiful Cosmel, Mexico. We're out doing some sightseeing. Today is actually our last day here. But we're out doing some sightseeing and we've kind of come out to the slummy area, if you will. That's what I call the slummy area. It's more like a, a residential area here. But uh, the question was raised, who do we call during emergencies? We get stranded somewhere if we have a, a police fire ems emergency do the same numbers that we use in the united states work down here we actually made a video very similar to this one several years back when we was down in curacao and we learned that 911 calls police in curacao but 912 calls fire and ems well let's learn about the emergency service system here in mexico or at least in cosmel and what numbers you need to be um calling if you ever have an emergency So let's start on the dive boat. What channel on the radio do we use? Well, typically in the United States and any of the international waters directly around the US, we'd always use channel 16. It's kind of the emergency distress signal. It immediately goes to the US Coast Guard or anyone that's uh, monitoring that channel can hear it. Uh, but down here in Mexico, things that act a little bit different or they work a little bit differently. Um, when I asked this question on a dive boat, the captain actually told me it was Ocho Ocho, which is 88, channel 88. Um, which was kind of unique to me because most of the places we go, obviously it's channel 16. Why is this important to you? Well, you need to know that. If you come up on a dive boat, maybe the captain's had an emergency or one of the dive crew leaders, maybe you're the one that has to go over and call for a help or mayday on that boat. So down here, apparently it's channel 88. All right, so now let's talk about if you're not on a dive boat. What if you're just out touring the area like we are here? If you have a medical emergency or you need to call police, there's actually four different numbers that you can call, but the main one that you need to understand, of course, is 911. Yes, 911 works down here. Thankfully, back in 2016, the Mexican government decided that they want to transition all emergency related numbers over to 911, and that even works here in Cosmel, Mexico, which is an island off the mainland of, of mainland Mexico. So if you have a medical emergency, you simply dial 911. Now I'm gonna show you a list of other numbers on here and kind of list what they are for because some call the Red Cross, some call private security. Uh, there's even a military number on here, but these numbers are not quite as important as that top one. The top one, of course, is 911. It's the same thing that we're used to. And even if you look on the local municipality police cars here, you'll even see that it says 911 on the side of the car. All right guys, so we're at a local supermarket here and hopefully we're gonna come across a local fire department and I'm gonna kinda see if they can kinda explain how emergency services work down here for us. But then we're gonna talk about what do you actually do if you find yourself in a desolate area on the other end of the island. Question for you. Back there, if we had an emergency, we'd dial 911. Does that work here? So 911, does that call fire, police, fire, EMS, or all of the above? So 911 works for everything? Awesome. Thank you. Just curious. So guys, as you can see, according to the local fire department here, you can call 911 for emergency services as well, and it works for all three, police, fire, and EMS. But now let's talk about what do you do if you're out in a remote area where there is no phone service, or maybe your phone's died, or you don't have a phone. Well, from what I can tell, every single taxi here, and trust me, there are taxis galore that go all over the island. Every single taxi has a CB radio in it. And if you know much about CB radios, CB radios have channel nine, which is an emergency related channel. 
And though it's not really utilized much in the States anymore for that, here in other countries, there's still an emergency contact. So if you see a taxi, flag them down, tell them you need help, that you need 911, and they can actually radio another taxi that's close to the police station or fire or EMS, or they can radio directly to police, fire, and EMS and get you the help that you need. So once again, guys, the importance of knowing who to call <clears throat> during an emergency when you're, on, when you're on a trip is, well, it's quite frankly, very important. You need to know this information no matter where you travel to, you need to be able to find out the information that you need to stay safe while out diving. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. If you got any questions about Cosmel Mexico that maybe I can answer, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.